Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a welcome to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Playoff Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Mike Tarosian on the call. Mike Tarosian pulling double duty today as he is also running the camera. And today it's a quarterfinals matchup between the 18 2 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers and the 10 7 and 3 Dartmouth Indians. It is the second playoff game for the Hillers as they are about to introduce the teams. We can set it down to ice level right now for the public address announcements. Serena in Bourne, Massachusetts for this quarterfinals matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Dartmouth Indians. The Hillers looking to continue their playoff road to the semifinals, but they will certainly be tested here today against a very tough Dartmouth team. And this Dartmouth team has had a very tough schedule throughout this season. They have played some of the elite in the state so they have been battle tested and they will once again be battle tested 
here tonight. The Hillers in the first round took down Dover Sherborne seven to one. It was a domination of their TVL rival in the first round to get to this point here today as we are just about ready for the opening faceoff between second seeded Hopkinton and 10th seeded Dartmouth in the faceoff circle for the Hillers. It is DJ Sloan going up against Austin Noble for Dartmouth and we are underway here at Galloway Serena in Bourne as the Hillers start off with possession. Into the neutral zone, knocked out by Lindquist. Around the net it goes, and it is picked up by Dartmouth. As Will Abbott gets involved in the action, and here comes the Indians. A pass over to the near side, and coming up ice is Angelo Nic Nicolosi. Around the net he goes, contested by Lindquist. And the Hillers taking care of it on their defensive end. Hopkinton now working into Dartmouth territory. Up behind the Dartmouth net. That one knocked out of play. We will have a face off. It was Owen Delaney scoring the first two goals in the first playoff game against Dover Sherborne. He put up two goals in the first period. So he is certainly back and ready to go as he is in the faceoff circle right now with that second line for the Hillers. Of course, with how great the first line has been playing, they did not want to interrupt the flow. So they put Owen Delaney on the second line as that one is turned away by the goalie Gamash. And there's a goal. Hillers get things started off on the right foot. It is a one to nothing lead. And putting that one in, it was Sean Walsh. Less than a minute into it, 58 seconds to be exact. Sean Walsh gets by Gamash, and it's 1-0 Hillers. And that's a nice way to start things off, Mike. I tell you, this is so exciting to see a start like this. I, I was all upset that I couldn't make Saturday's game. He had heard how well that went. There was no way was I missing out coming to Bourne. And they could have quite a few games at Bourne. Of course, it's... Win and in, lose and go home as Walsh coming up the far side once again, contested with possession in the left circle, looking for the shot there. He's denied by Gamash, picks it up on the near side. Now that's back to Connor Delaney, keeps it on the ground, nearly another goal there. Wrapped up by Gamash as Ron Sheamus got a stick on it. The Hillers putting the pressure on early and often. 13.30 left to go in the first period. A face-off in the Dartmouth zone. Griffin Zach in there for the Hillers up against Austin Noble. Up behind the net goes Hunter Temple. Temple over to the blue line of Gilbert. Gilbert puts it up the wall. Around it goes. Up behind the net. Griffin Zach getting involved in the action. Now it's towards the right circle of Kyle Rogers. Hillers going to switch up their lines quite a bit as they did against Dover Sherborne. And against Dover Sherborne, they created all kinds of confusion because just about every single player on this roster is good enough to be out there in this playoff game. A hard hit along the boards. Lindquist in there with a couple of Dartmouth Indians. Angelo Nicolosi is that one is wide to the right of the net by Nicolosi. And that's picked up behind the net by Lorabi, who was trying to leave it out front. Gilbert goes up the far side. Dartmouth takes it back. Indians oh. trying to establish wow. pressure, but Hunter Temple says, nah, -uh, not right now. And here comes the Hillers. As coming down the ice was DJ Sloan. Behind the net it goes. The Hillers going to change things up. And that's what the Hillers did a lot of in that first round game against Dover Sherborne. A lot of hard hitting. And they are bringing the intensity to this postseason. Simos along the near side turns it towards Connor Delaney. Now along the blue line, that one gets by Saparoshets. Saparoshets picks it up in the neutral zone. Puts it off the wall just in front of Simos. Abbott with control going towards the far side. Trying to leave it out in front for Sloan. All kinds of defensemen in the way. Dartmouth takes it back. A 1-0 lead for the Hillers in this first period. And that'll draw the icing. We'll have a face-off in the Dartmouth zone. 
Mike, well, it's been fun to watch this Hillers hockey program. Every year they just seem to get better. I tell you, the improvements uh, that have been made through this whole program, uh, you know, you've got to give uh, big kudos to Coach McPherson. Certainly do. Changed the whole life of this team. Quite an unbelievable program he has produced. As that one's flipped in the air by Lindquist. Behind the net, Sloan. Sloan trying to leave it out in front for Abbott. Abbott turns it around, and Simos was looking for the shot, just got by him. Around the net it goes once again. Sloan on the chase down, up the boards. Gilbert has it. Gilbert trying to put it towards Sloan. Here comes Dartmouth with an opportunity, and that's shut down immediately by Saparoshets and Lindquist. Lindquist able to get it up the far side boards. Abbott on the chase down. Abbott trying to leave it out in front. Stuck behind the net, leaves it for Sloan. Sloan trying to turn it around. Sloan up the boards, over to Saparoshets. And it's hunted down by Connor Delaney. Connor Delaney sets it towards Sloan. Sloan unable to get a grasp on it. O'Leary will set it up. Delaney takes over. Connor Delaney has done some wonders back ice for the Hillers. Certainly a very talented defenseman. Chased down back ice by Aruda. Aruda puts it towards the far side. Dartmouth trying to put on some pressure, but they are just having all kinds of problems. Owen Delaney with a hard hit there in the middle of the ice. Over on the far side, that's Tommy Hamblett. We'll have a whistle as Hamblett gets tangled up with a Dartmouth player. And I believe it was out of play, so we will have a face-off. That was indeed the call. Owen Delaney on the face-off for Hopkinton. Of course, we're at the far end of the ice. Here behind the Hiller's goal right now as Connor Delaney tries to leave that in front. That one popped off the boards. Back to the neutral zone it goes. O'Leary sets it up. Over to the far side. Through Walsh. Off the boards past Delaney. And that's handled by Owen Delaney. Up to the near side he goes. Over to Hamblet. Hamblet trying to get around a couple... Dartmouth players, a little collision there with Sam Caniff. Handled on the far side by Walsh. Puts it down the wall towards Owen Delaney, trying to turn it around. He's contested by Pat Mello. Walsh with possession in the left circle, looking for the shot, trying to leave it out in front. And it was diverted, and here comes Dartmouth on a run. Andrew Gilbert on defense. Some good stick work here in the left circle, but no one there for Will Cote. Hard hit into the corner by Walsh. Well, Cote had a good look, but he was trying to pass towards the slot. Problem was, no one there. Casera on the near side for Dartmouth. Hard hit into the boards as Rogers takes one for the team there. Now stuck up along the far side. Nine minutes and counting left to go in this first period. A 1-0 Hillers lead. Picked up by Kyle Rogers. Over to the near side, he goes to Lindquist. Lindquist with possession. Flips it to the near side at Temple. And that one is going to be called off sides as Griffin Zach crossed prior to the puck. We'll have a face off at 8.44 left to go. Well, a good start here for the Hillers, immediately putting the pressure on, and I think that's what Coach McPherson wants, aggressive for hockey. Aggressive hockey, nice clean hockey, and uh, some great speed from the Hillers. And the Hillers actually did not have a penalty called against them. In, or actually, there was one penalty called against the Hillers, but it was a neutral penalty as both teams had a player in the box at the same time, so they never really let Dover Sherborne on a power play. And I think that was one of the keys to their domination of their TVL rival. Stuck up along the near side, Griffin Zach and Hunter Temple trying to dig it out for the Hillers. Back ice it goes for Dartmouth as Will Cote catches up with it. Cote skates into the neutral zone. And a nice move to get by Temple. Top of the circle, leaves that one out in front, and that's a goal for Dartmouth. Great puck distribution by Cote. Cote finds Bryce Souza, and Souza finds the net. Hold on. 8.03 left to go. And Dartmouth on the board. They came to play here tonight, Mike. Yeah, I'll say, you know, to get what you were talking about earlier with the power plays, Hillers have been doing a great job all year killing the power play. And when you don't have to kill them, you spend more time scoring. 
Certainly do. DJ Sloan in there for the Hillers. And Dartmouth, I think they've read about Abbott. They are keeping a heavy eye on Will Abbott. Lindquist around the net, flips it to Abbott. Now Sloan trying to take control. Down the near side he goes. Abbott cross towards Gilbert. Off the wall it goes. Gilbert catches up with it. Along the line of Lindquist. Lindquist back ice over to Gilbert. Gilbert up towards Sloan. Sloan trying to get it to Simos. Stolen away by Dartmouth. Maybe another break here towards the net. Diverted by Lindquist. There's Joey Pacheco up ice for Dartmouth. Over to the far side. That's pushed up the wall by Pacheco. Chase down in back of the net. Handled by the Hillers. Here comes Sloan. Sloan up the near side. Trying to get by a couple of defenders. Puts it around the net there. Seven minutes left to go in the first period. A 1-1 game. Lindquist flips it over to Abbott looking for the shot out in front of the net and it's turned away by Lamash. Lamash with a couple of great saves there. That very easily could have been a Hiller's goal and I believe the net came displaced. And we will have a face off. It looks like no penalty called. Nope. Fans were hoping for one. There was some physical contact in front of the net. A little pushing here along the far side wall. Here comes Dartmouth. No one out in front as Saparoshitz chases it down. Saparoshitz up the near side. Over to Hamblet. Hamblet flips it off the boards. Out in front, Hamblet. Gets it out in front, and Dartmouth takes care of it in their defensive zone. Up the near side, Will Cote, certainly a player to look out for. That was a beauty of an assist by Cote. Now we have a shot from the far side, glove save by O'Leary. He immediately drops it off the Peyton Allen shot. Sean Walsh trying to get a break on it. And here comes Dartmouth on the attack once again. Souza with possession. Leaves it behind for Nicolosi. Nicolosi in the high slot, trying to get that one by O'Leary. Out in front of the net, O'Leary wraps it up. A near goal there, scary situation. O'Leary able to cover it up. Big turnout for both student sections. The Dartmouth students certainly being the louder of the bunch for now as momentum starting to swing a little bit towards the Indians. Griffin Zach in there against Noble. In the Hiller's zone. Up the far side, Rogers. Chucks it up in front of Zach and now handled by Lindquist. Lindquist to take it down. And that one knocked out of play off the stick of Noble. We'll have a face-off with 5.41 left. Well, the Hillers, they had the early pressure, Mike, but Dartmouth has certainly responded. And they have come to play here tonight. I think we have ourselves a game that's going to go down to the wire. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> not to say that the uh, Hiller crowd is lacking. We don't forget we also have playoff action in Worcester tonight with right. the girls' basketball team. Yeah, we have a split squad for the Hillers crowd tonight. And it would have been worse if they had this uh, spring sports night to boot. <laughs> right. <laughs> Temple up behind the net over to the blue line. Gilbert able to keep it up the far side. On the chase down is Temple. Around the net he goes. Hard hit behind the net. Lindquist along the near side. Handled by Pat Mello for Dartmouth. Dartmouth just begging for a breakaway. Gilbert flips it up back into Dartmouth territory. Hillers winning the possession battle, but we got a 1-1 game out there. Dartmouth has got a couple of great shots on that as Lindquist puts that out in front, turned away by Gamash. Over on the far side, Rogers with possession in the corner and now it's stolen away. Here comes the Indians. Turned away by Griffin Zach, a nice hard hit by Zach to knock Pacheco to the ground. Out oh, in front, oh. O'Leary's gonna oh. set it up. A Little bit of nerves there, but he's able to set it up just fine to Rogers and now Gamash will set it up for Dartmouth. Approaching 4.30 left to go in this first period. It has been back and forth momentum shifts all period long. Dartmouth certainly keying in on Will Abbott. Sloan up the far side. Puts it over to the high slot. Simos with a beauty of a shot, but it's turned away by Gamash. All kinds of zip on that shot. Jammed up along the corner now, up behind the net. Over along the far side. Gets just by Saparoshets. Chased along by Sloan. 
Sloan going to take it down for the Hillers. Some good stick work here as he works up the far side. And a little push there by Will Cote. The Dartmouth fans liking it. That one over to the near side boards as Reed Martin will handle it. Now it's taken away. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Handled back ice for Dartmouth by Arruda. And now Will Abbott into the left circle looking for a shot here. Trying to leave that out in front for Simos. But a defenseman immediately there to cover up. Simos with a backhander trying to get it out in front to Abbott. And now a shot by Saparoshets is deflected off a Dartmouth oh, oh. player. And then we have a hard hit in the middle of the ice as Sloan getting that shoulder down. Millers will switch things up and we'll have a face off. This will be a face off in the neutral zone. Well, these officials, I got to give credit to them. They're letting them play in they this postseason. Yeah, more you know, there's some great hard hits, but everything is clean, so there's no right. reason not to let them play. And they're certainly a little more delicate with their calls during the season, but in the postseason, they really let these guys play out there. Sure. Unless it's something vicious, it's usually not going to get called. Up along the far side is Walsh, trying to dig it out of the corner. He's met up with a couple of defensemen. Walsh oh. still doing battle, and another <laughs> hard hit there as Tommy Hamlet comes away with it. Owen Delaney trying to turn it around. Up towards the right circle is Walsh, back towards Lindquist. Lindquist trying to put it out in front. Around the net it goes, handled by Hamlet, who's knocked down to the ground. Temple trying to reach around over to Walsh. Walsh into the corner. Now up behind the net over to Will Abbott. Excuse me, that was uh, Owen Delaney. Now chased down by Hamlet. Up on the far side corner, out in front, there's a goal! A beauty of a shot there for the Hillers. And that is just what the doctor ordered for Hopkinton. Owen Delaney coming through once again. His third goal of the postseason. Can't beat that. That was a beautiful shot. Well, I think he's back, Mike. Yeah, you think? Check along the near side boards. Back to the Hillers back ice. Handled behind the net. Now Dartmouth trying to put the pressure on. As that one is knocked up in the air, still in play in Hiller's territory, turned away by Saparoshitz. Will Abbott looking for a break, feed, trying to feed Simos, who had wide open ice in front of him, but just fell short on the pass as O'Leary sets it up for Connor Delaney. Well, for Owen Delaney, that was his ninth goal of the season, 16th point, pretty impressive, considering he only played about six or seven games during the regular season. Pass over to Will Abbott. Abbott takes it across, leaves it behind. A hard shot there by Simos, and it's covered up by Gamash. Well, we know Simos can hit a baseball, but he could certainly also hit a puck. He could hit a puck. He could hit anything. 142 left to go in this first period. A 2 1 lead for the Hillers. Goals by Sean Walsh and Owen Delaney. Walsh scoring with less than a minute into it. That was his 12th goal of the season and also the 23rd point of the season for Walsh on that first goal. Hillers taking care of it in the neutral zone as Lindquist puts it towards Hamlet. Now here comes Dartmouth hoping for a break here, challenging O'Leary. That one's turned away on the Damian Madero shot up along the near side, Lindquist. Lindquist trying to sneak it by Peyton Allen. Over to the circle it goes. Hillers quick to get in front of the net. A shot there, and O'Leary is able to turn it away. Angelo Nicolosi was hoping for the secondary shot off the save on the Casera shot, but could not get it off. Hiller is quick to swarm the net. Less than a minute left to go in the first period, an action-packed playoff game so far. Here comes Dartmouth, a two-on-one coming up the ice on the near side. Nicolosi stops in the circle. That one turned away by Lindquist. A great defensive play there, and it is shoot away by Walsh back to the neutral zone. Dartmouth switching up a couple players on the ice. Owen Delaney hoping for a break up the far side. Here he comes up the boards, leaving it out in front. Abbott trying to poke it in, but could not get to it in time. He'll come around the net with it. Abbott over to the left circle. The backhander to Simos. Simos trying to backhand it in, but all kinds of 
Dartmouth players just in front of the net there to turn it away. Back to the blue line. Lindquist keeps that on the ground. Turned away by Gamash. Over to the corner, picked up by Simos. Out in front as Sloan hoping for the goal. Connor Delaney gets in there and his shot is deflected. Abbott along the near side corner, out in front. Gamash turns that away and one away to end the first period for the Hillers, putting the pressure on. And we will head to the second period with the Hopkinton Hillers leading the Dartmouth Indians two to one. It's Hopkinton Hillers boys varsity playoff hockey on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Kai. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love, love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back to Gallo Ice Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts. We are ready for the second period. The Hopkinton Hillers leading the Dartmouth Indians two to one. As we start off the second period, the winner of this game advances to play the winner of Rockland and Greater New Bedford, who is the 11th seed, Rockland the third seed. And that game will be right back here at Gallo Ice Arena on Friday at a time to be determined. Picked up along the near side as Simos takes a hard hit into the boards. Hopkinton working the opposite end now as Lindquist just puts that to the left of the net. And now that's knocked down by Gilbert. Looking for a shot there, but it was diverted up behind the net. Abbott trying to leave it out in front. Now back to the blue line towards Gilbert. Dartmouth trying to rush away with it, but the Hillers say, no, uh as Simos is going to force a glove save by Gamash. Hopkinton will switch back up to the second line. They have had a lot of success in this game so far. Owen Delaney leading the way for the second line. He has his third goal of the postseason here tonight. Came with 2.31 left in the first. There's another glove save off a Connor Delaney shot from the top of the circle. We'll have another face off. Charlie Gamash has been a busy goaltender today. Top of the circle, Connor Delaney for the throw. That's a goal! Tommy Hamlet got the stick on it to put it through. 3-1 Hillers. Connor Delaney on the assist. Tommy Hamlet on the goal. And it comes with 14 minutes and 11 seconds left. Just what the doctor ordered for the Hillers. Mike, it's amazing what they do in the first wow. minute of every period. It's, it's great, it's very consistent. I love seeing it. it. It makes me feel better. It's good hockey. In the <laughs> dover Sherborne game, I believe they had a goal within the first two and a half minutes of every period. That's outstanding. And they, they come out like that right at the beginning of the period. They'll put the pressure on, and a lot of times it pays off because the other team, they're not ready for it. They're expecting, sure. yeah, we'll feel them out. Go back and forth a little bit, but nope, the Hillers come right out and attack you. As Griffin Zach against Rabi on the face off. Hopkinton working in Dartmouth territory. Now up the far side comes Pat Mello on a break. Mello leaves that one out in front. Turned away by O'Leary, lost it behind the net, so he immediately covers up that net. Smart goaltending there by O'Leary. Now it's jammed up behind that net. And Saporosha is trying to dig it out. Now along the far side boards the Temple. And here comes Hopkinton on a break, or a potential break, but Rogers can't get to it in time as Aruda was able to turn him away. Now along the far side, Temple trying to leave it for Griffin Zach, but just pushed it a little bit too far. Here comes Will Cote. And nowhere to go along the near side, just surrounded by Hillers. And now Hopkinton on a break. Hunter Temple into the circle, leaves it out in front. Griffin Zach trying to force it in. Good save by Gamash. Now on the near side, and it's Kyle Rogers. Rogers trying to put it towards Zach. Back around the boards it goes, picked up by Souza. And now Zach sacrificing his body on that one, and now jammed up along the corner. Zach and Temple trying to dig it out alongside Austin Noble for Dartmouth. Temple comes away with it, and he lost it between his legs as Will Cote gets the stick on it. Cote trying to turn it around and force it around. Rogers out in front of the net, trying to force it in was Temple. And now back to the blue line, Gilbert. Gilbert. Puts it around, Rogers in there for the Hillers. Temple's gonna put that one off of Aruda. Aruda flips it off the boards, back to the neutral zone it goes, handled by Sloan. 
Sloan up to Temple. Temple backhands it into Dartmouth territory. And now Sloan, behind the net he goes to try to get it from Aruda, but coming away with it is Noble. Dartmouth looking for a break, but Connor Delaney is going to turn them away right here. Connor Delaney tripped up a little bit, up behind the net. Dartmouth has it. Back to the top of the circle, into the slot, and it's turned away. Good defending by the Hillers. They are not letting Dartmouth in the slot whatsoever. Around back into Hopkinton territory, O'Leary will set it up. 11.50 and counting left to go in this second period. A 3-1 lead for the Hillers. Will Abbott with possession in the neutral zone. Just seeing where he should go with it. Flips it off the board. Simos with a shot just wide to the left. Picked up by Sloan. Sloan going to try to force it out in front here. And that one is covered up by Gamash. Still in play as Abbott's able to knock it out. Back to Hiller's territory it goes. Saparoshets will chase it down over the far side. Delaney flips it off the boards. And the neutral zone. That one flipped up in the air by Allen. And it's handled along the near side by Saparoshets. Tom Nappy, Mike Tarosian bringing you Hopkins and Hiller's Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey as Simos looking for a goal here, and he's turned away by Gamash. Good defending by Will Cote out in front. Slow, trying to force that one in. Abbott was right there, but the puck did not fall in front of him. Hard hit along the far side boards oh. by Simos. That's yeah, going to draw check. the whistle. Oh, and Simos just leveled Will Cote, and he might be heading to the box for that one. That was a behind the back hit. So that'll be a penalty. On the Hillers. Dumb and Dang should go take a bench too because he uh, had a real hard time getting back up. Yeah, he certainly did. I'm surprised the coach hasn't called him over to check up on him. But Will Cote skating it off. And Will Cote was who had that great assist for the only Dartmouth goal. But Bryce Souza was able to put it in. Cote with some smooth moves by a couple of Hillers. Left it out front for Souza, and Souza took care of it. Cote at the blue line. Cross over to the near side. This is really the first Hillers power. There's a goal! Wow! That one just getting by O'Leary. Cullen Larabi kind of just wristed it. Not really expecting it to get by, but O'Leary mishandled it. And Dartmouth on the boards. Well, yeah, nice, nice uh, light wrist to that you couldn't control. Well, if you're going to beat the Hillers, you got to take advantage of those power plays. And that's what Dartmouth did there. It's a 3-2 game. Hopkinton certainly going to have to control their emotions. You do not want to give Dartmouth too many opportunities on the power play, especially with how much you're dominating when it's even strength. Hamlet puts that around the net. Handled by Cote. Cote takes a hard hit from Walsh, jammed up behind the net. Cote and Walsh battling for the puck. Here comes Walsh, leaves it behind for Owen Delaney, but Delaney couldn't get a hold of it. Now Will Cote with possession, jammed up along the near side corner. Owen Delaney leaves it for the circle, flipped up by Souza. And back to Hiller's territory it goes. There's the icing call. Well, power play goal for Cullen Larabi. Makes it 3 to 2, Hopkinton. That goal came with 10.52 left, and now we'll have a faceoff in Dartmouth territory with 10.23 left. Off the icing. DJ Sloan up against Cullen Larabi. Abbott along the near side, handled by Casera. Sarah cross to Mello. Now behind the net is Sloan. The Temple, rather. Back to Abbott. Flips it to the blue line. Connor Delaney looking for a shot. And that one is turned away by Gamash. Good shot by Connor Delaney as he was able to get that through a couple of defensemen. Then a hard hit in the boards is taken by Saparoshitz. Back to Hiller's territory it goes as Connor Delaney quickly retreats. Now along the near side, it is Sloan. Sloan comes away with it. And that one is up towards Abbott. Abbott trying to get around the defender. And he's turned away. Here comes Dartmouth for Abbey. Puts it up the boards. Back to the neutral zone. Will Abbott was trying to poke it out there and steal yeah. it away. Abbott along the far side, out into the circle. Temple trying to force it in. Abbott is tripped up. Here comes Dartmouth. And that one is knocked back into Dartmouth territory by Saparoshitz. Put over towards Casera. Up along the far sides. Handled by Gamash. Up along the near side, Sylvia. 
That's jammed up. Sloan looking for a shot here. Out in front, turned away by Allen. And now on the chase down is Sean Walsh, and we'll have a whistle. That is going to be an icing. 8.57 left to go. 3 to 2 Hillers. Still very much a game, though, as Dartmouth has responded. Tommy Hamlet scored 49 seconds into the period. Off a beauty of an assist by Connor Delaney. Owen Delaney leaves it behind for Hamlet. Hamlet trying to turn it around. Back over to Walsh. Walsh swings it around over to the slot. Owen Delaney's shot is diverted by Dylan Aruda. Owen Delaney jammed up along the far side corner. Handled by Noble. Noble puts it up towards Nicolosi. Here comes Nicolosi. It is one on three, though, and the Hillers oh, get the puck, no, but that's no. going to be a tripping. <laughs> and Dartmouth will have another power play opportunity. Got that stick under his skate. Can't yep. do that. And the Dartmouth fans letting the Hillers hear it for that one. That's going to send Walsh to the box. And Sean Walsh will take a seat for two minutes, and it'll be five on four in favor of Dartmouth. Let's see if the Indians can take advantage of another power play. Stolen away. Will Abbott was looking to break up ice, but someone just in front of him. And now a shot from the left circle, left out in front. And it is turned away by Sloan. Over to the blue line, it goes to Casera. And now the shot from the blue line, and O'Leary has to cover that up. And that shot by Will Cote, putting some power on it. Well, Dartmouth, they are showing that they are pretty good on the power play. Putting the pressure on. Austin Noble on the faceoff for the Indians, up against Sloan. And we'll have the puck knocked up back into Dartmouth territory. Gamash will set it up. Here comes Cote. Up the near side over to Caniff. Abbott turns it away. 122 and counting, left on the power play. Will Cote up the far side. Hillers have been very good burning off power plays, but this Dartmouth team, they got some skills on the power play. Left out in front, and O'Leary being put to work here as he turns that away. And now it's up in the slot and handled by Sloan just in the nick of time. Sloan skating up the near side, eludes one Dartmouth player who goes flying into the glass. Austin Noble took a fall there, and now we have a whistle. And that's going to be offsides. And we'll get the icing call. It'll be a face-off in Dartmouth territory. And actually, no, it's going to be a penalty. Excuse me. They're going to yep. give Austin Noble two minutes. So 58 seconds left on the power play, or the initial power play for Dartmouth. Now there will be even strength for a while. Then after that, the Hillers will get a minute and two seconds of the one-man advantage. Up along the near side, turned away by Temple. Back to the blue line. Gilbert trying to wrist that one in. Back towards Lindquist. We are four on four right now. 46 seconds left before the Hillers have a one-man advantage. Over towards Owen Delaney. Back to the neutral zone, and it gets away from Gilbert Lindquist there to pick it up. Up to the far side of Temple. Temple trying to turn it around, having a little bit of trouble here, and he does. Nice skating there by Peyton Allen. Temple into the neutral zone, turned away by Casera. Dartmouth takes it back ice as Casera trying to set things up. Up along the far side he goes, flips that in the Hillers territory. O'Leary will set it up on the opposite side. Gilbert picks it up, 10 seconds left. Oh, no, and now no. Dartmouth trying to flip it in. A backhander is turned away by O'Leary from Lorabi. Lorabi already with one goal here for Dartmouth. That one turned away by O'Leary as well from Lorabi. Shot along the far side, here comes Lindquist. Lindquist, pass over to Owen Delaney. Gets away from Delaney a little bit. Chased down by Sylvia. Delaney able to pick it back up. Looking towards Abbott. And he'll put it behind the net for Sloan. Hillers now with the one-man advantage for another 44 seconds. Over to the blue line, Connor Delaney to Lindquist. Lindquist flips that one. And it's put out of play off of Gamash. We'll have a face-off in Dartmouth territory. Exactly six minutes left to go in the second period. A 3-2 game in favor of the Hillers and Hopkinton has the one-man advantage for another 35 seconds. 
Nice advantage to have, especially with the face-off in their end. The Dartmouth end. Over to the far side, Simos towards the blue line. Back to Sloan. Dartmouth defending on the power play pretty well, however. Abbott back to Simos. Simos was hoping for a shot there. Abbott flips it back to Simos. Simos to Abbott. Abbott out in front, trying to set up Owen Delaney. Turned away by Casera, and that is going to be set up by O'Leary. Up towards Simos. Now Lindquist turns it away. Simos puts it along the far side. Battle in the neutral zone. Both teams back at even strength. Here comes Dartmouth, and he misses the shot opportunity there. Austin Noble is trying to put some zip on it. Now the Hiller is on a quick break up the far side. Here comes Sloan, leaving it for Abbott, and he was just missed. He's trying to flip it in, but it went along the crease and to the far side. A very close goal there, but close only counts in horseshoes. Sloan in, behind in the net. Out in front over to Abbott, and that one turned away by Gamache. Back towards Abbott. Abbott did have a goal against Dover Sherborne in the first playoff game. Actually, he had a couple goals. As Walsh gives a hard whack into the boards on Will Cote. Will Cote just taking a beating in this game. Picked up over by Temple. Hunter Temple on the far side trying to leave that out in the slot for Abbott, but no one can get to it. Now here comes Medeiros for Dartmouth. Flips that out in front, turned away by O'Leary. Connor Delaney picks it up along the far side. All kinds of Dartmouth players surrounding him, but he's able to squirt it out. Up along the sideboards, handled by the Hillers. Quick break here, Will Abbott open for a shot, and that is just off the right pad of Gamash. Abbott leaves it out in front, still in play. Walsh trying to force it through, but a nice defensive play by Reed Martin. That one just oh. off the skate of Sylvia. That was almost an own goal, and up along the boards it goes. That one just squirted by Hamlet. Now Temple trying to get it back towards Hamlet. Over to the circle it goes. Out in front to Temple. And now a hard hit there by Saperoshitz. That's picked up along the near side boards by Hamlet. And then stolen away by Sylvia. Back to Hiller's territory it goes. O'Leary comes way out to put that one to the neutral zone. Up comes Hamlet. Hamlet with a one-on-one. -on -one and he is turned away from by Dylan Arruda. Hamlet jammed up along the corner, able to squirt it around. And now Hamlet on the chase down with Larabi back to the blue line. Gilbert puts it up behind the net. Over to the far side we go. Picked up by Casera. That one is going to be a glove save by Gamash off the Hunter Temple Rister. 3-10 left to go in the second period. The Hillers putting the pressure on and leading 3-2. to Mike, this has been an action-packed game so far. I tell you, on. You know, this is, this is super. A lot of, again, the hard hits are just, uh, you know, they're letting them play, and it's good. I'd say Eric Cardi said it best when it comes to playoff hockey, it's just a totally different atmosphere. It is great. Lindquist trying to dig that one out, stuck along the far side wall. Back towards Hiller's territory. O'Leary's going to come out and set it up, and he'll put it around for Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side. Less than three minutes left in the second period now. Up behind the net, picked up by Lindquist. Well, you got to expect no matter what seed it is, no matter what the record is, every game's going to be a battle. As Dartmouth looking for a shot here. That one flipped up and a glove save. Nicolosi on that shot. O'Leary able to wrap it up. As I mentioned, Dartmouth has been battle tested. They're showing that here tonight. Yeah, they have. I don't think the Hillers are going to run away with this one. This is going to go down to the wire. Tucker Rose up against Sloan. But of course, the key is the Hillers is such a fast team. Will Dartmouth get tired as the game goes on? We'll soon find out if they have the cardio ability that the Hillers do. Saperoshitz puts that around to the far side. Abbott trying to pick that one off. Dartmouth maintains control. Shot from the left circle, turned away by a defenseman off the Josh Nelson attempt. Back to the neutral zone. Quick break here for the Hillers. Sloan coming up fast. Sloan looking for the goal, trying to jam it in. Turned away by Gamash. There to pick it up for Dartmouth is Will Cote. Sloan Whoa. and Cote doing battle behind the net. Picked up along the far side by Sylvia. Here comes Sylvia across the middle. He's tripped up, and that is going to be a whistle. 
Dartmouth fans loving it. It's looking like Dartmouth might have another power play here, and they will. Well, Hiller is going to be short a man once again. And that was T.J. Sloan, the guilty party. He's in the box for two minutes. Big time opportunity for Dartmouth. Temple tripped up, knocks it up the far side. Casera handles it in the neutral zone. Back he goes to Cote. Cote trying to get around Owen Delaney. Owen Delaney's going to divert that one. And now with possession, Reed Martin. Some good hits along the far side. Owen Delaney trying to work his way up. Delaney looking for the shot, trying to get around the defender. But Casera gets in front of him. Delaney puts it around the net. Nowhere else to go with it. Picked up by Cote. Cote up to Capoletti. Out to the neutral zone. That shot way wide to the left by Peyton Allen as Dartmouth will switch up a couple of players. 1-11 left on the power play. Back to the neutral zone, picked up by Aruda. Dartmouth having a little bit of trouble the last couple of power plays, putting the pressure on. Casera over to Nicolosi. Nicolosi coming up quick, and he's turned away by Simos. Flipped up by Lindquist. Set up by Gamash. Here comes Aruda up behind the net. 45 seconds left in the period. 45 seconds left on the power play. Walsh, some good stick work there. Back to the neutral zone, picked up by Aruda. Up the far side of Casera. Casera over to Lima. And now the Hillers take control here. We'll flip it up the far side boards. Be handled along the near side by Aruda. Hopkinson just trying to burn out the time from that power play. 20 seconds left. And the power play and period clock match. So 14 seconds left. That is put wide to the right by Gilbert. Picked up by Aruda. Aruda. Abbott in front of him, and now they're playing keep away. And that's going to do it. There's going to be one second left on the uh, power play clock, it appears. So the Hillers will have to start the third period short, man. But that is going to wrap up the second period. And after two periods of play, it is going to be the Hillers 3, Dartmouth 2. Both teams able to net a goal in the second period. The exciting playoff action continues. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAN. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to Gallo Ice Arena here in Bourne, Massachusetts. We are ready for the third period. The Hopkinton Hillers leading the Dartmouth Indians 3-2. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian bringing you Hopkinton Hillers boys playoff hockey as Lindquist is going to start things off, putting it up the near side as we have switched ends and we are in the final 15 minutes. The pressure is on for Dartmouth if they want to continue in the postseason as they trail three to two. The Hillers were able to net a pair of goals in the second and both teams netted one, or a pair of goals in the first, excuse me, and both teams netted one in the second. We'll give you the scoring summary soon as we have a moment. Lindquist gonna chase it down. In the first period, it was Sean Walsh putting one in for the Hillers. 58 seconds into action as Will Abbott here on a drive. Leaves that one out in front and that is just wide to the left of the net. 
And now Dartmouth on a quick break. Then 8.03, it was Bryce Souza for Dartmouth putting in a goal off a nice assist from Cote as that one's turned away by O'Leary. And now out in front, and then with 2.31 left, Owen Delaney scored for the Hillers. And then in the second, Hopkinton in the first minute again as Abbott leaves that one out in front and Walsh couldn't get the stick on it. So you had Tommy Hamlet with 14-11 left in the second. Then with 10-52, Dartmouth responded. Cullen Karabi put one in. And we have a 3-2 game as Walsh on a break. Into the right circle. That one is diverted from the net by Gamash, who's playing some terrific goaltending here today. The pressure has been on. The shooting from the Hillers has been fantastic. But Gamash is keeping Dartmouth in this game. Over to the near side, Hamlet. Hamlet coming across into the high slot now to the right circle and that one is turned away from Gamash and then nearly put in on the secondary attempt by Walsh but Gamash able to cover it up. Yeah, that, that went into the top of his pads and uh, dropped down right after the whistle. The pressure is on for Dartmouth. The Hillers trying to score that early period goal as they have done all postseason long. Along the far side, Rogers puts it behind towards Temple. Now out in front, trying to sneak it through with Simos. Temple along the near side corner. Puts that around. Jammed up into the corner now is Temple. Temple looking for Rogers. Swings back around over towards Lindquist. Lindquist gets a shot on that. That's wide to the right. Picked up along the far side by Gilbert. Now in the left circle, Temple. Trying to flip it to Zach. Got the third line out there right now for the Hillers. And now they're going to come off, and we'll go back to the first line. It's going to be Will Abbott out there, along with Drew Saperoschitz, E.J. Sloan, Connor Delaney. And Steve Simos. Up along the near side, Connor Delaney. Puts it over towards Simos, leaves it out in front. That's jammed back into the Hillers' territory. Cross just past the reach of Saperoschitz, and now Abbott is going to knock that down the near side wall. And a near steal there by Simos. Back to the neutral zone. Connor Delaney. Over to Simos. Simos with a break potential here, but it's going to be diverted by Casera. Over to Connor Delaney. Delaney places it up along the near side corner. Approaching 12 minutes left in the third period. A 3-2 game in favor of the Hillers. Still very much a game we have here at Gallo Ice Arena. And here comes Dartmouth now. Open for a shot as Sylvia with possession. That one turned away by O'Leary. Up behind the net it goes. Connor Delaney puts it around. Over to the blue line. The backhander goes nowhere from Souza. Will Abbott nearly escaped with it, but he was turned away by Casera. Back to the far side as both teams kind of just knocking the puck back and forth here. No one's had a real break on it yet. You know, Tom, I was just about to say, you would think as each period we saw the play intensify, but Dartmouth doesn't seem to come out with any kind of urgency. You know, they're down one goal, two goals for a win. You know, it, they just don't seem, seem to be very with an urgency. Whether they, they just have trouble setting up an offense or something, I, I don't know. Well, the Hillers just got a couple of good shots there that were turned away by Gamash, who single-handedly is keeping them in this game. This one out in front and trying to reach it through, and that is a goal. Will Abbott. No, no, it's not a goal, excuse me. I thought off. he had that in. He waved it off. We had the goal sign, it was waved off, no goal. Huh. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Well, we got the Owen Delaney line out there now to try to switch up the luck. The wrister, there there's is. a goal! Wow, Andrew Gilbert powers it through! What a wrister that was! Gilbert says, you're not gonna give us a goal? All right, well you're gonna give us one now. 10.52 left in the third period. Andrew Gilbert makes it a 4-2 lead for the Hillers. That was a beauty. 
<laughs> what a rest of, I love those shots. Kamashita. Going through all that traffic. And that's Gilbert's second goal of the season. Based on that shot, it seems like he should have a lot more. <laughs> Lindquist puts it off the boards. Hamlet's tripped up. Handled in the neutral zone. Gilbert up the far side over to Owen Delaney. This Owen Delaney line, they are doing wonders out there tonight. They have done wonders you, it, all postseason long. Sean Walsh, Owen Delaney, Saparoschitz, Tommy Hamlet, and Matt Lindquist. Great combo out there. Delaney with a oh. hard hit in the circle, no penalty. Kind of looked clean as he went up against Cote. And now Dartmouth on a break up the far side. O'Leary turns that one away. That was a far away shot from Medeiros all the way from the neutral zone. Saparoschitz. Over towards Walsh. Walsh was trying to poke it up the far side. Now Owen Delaney gets involved in the action. Back ice it goes. Saparoshin turns it away. And now here comes Walsh. Sean Walsh driving down. Flips that one up and that is covered up. And a glove saved by Gamash. Gamash was just about to dish it off too. And, uh, but he saw something he didn't like and he just pulled it back in. Yeah, that was a smart decision. Too many hillers in the area sure. code. Griffin Zach back out there for the Hillers. Just, they get the third line in there. Connor Delaney trying to knock that one up. Here we go. Dartmouth breakaway up against O'Leary. Why did he try to pass wow. across? Bryce Souza had a wide open shot and did not take advantage of it. You'll never score a shot you don't take, that, pal. That was a bad decision for Dartmouth. Up the near side, left out in the high slot. And that is turned away by Rogers. Temple gets involved in the action along the far side. Now Connor Delaney, Griffin Zach gets it away from the net. Temple takes oh. a hard hit into the near side wall. Taking one for the team there. Andy lost his stick. Hillers are smartly going to switch up their line here. Simos looking for a shot. Simos trying to put that one in. It's turned away by Gamash. You had two players in the Dartmouth zone still going at it as the Hillers were huh. switching up the other three. And that's a goal! Oh, Simos! is able to knock it in. Actually, that might have been Abbott. That I might have been all Abbott. Will Abbott. Yep. I believe it was. I thought Simos might have got the stick on it, but I think it was all Will Abbott. Will Abbott finally into the scorebook for this game, and he has a goal in every single game that he has played for the Hillers this season. And we'll get the official word, but I believe that was Abbott who put that in. But Simos was right there just in case like he scored it. it out. I think it was. If it was Abbott, that was his 35th goal. Yep. And it was indeed Abbott. We got the confirmation. That is the 35th goal of the season for Will Abbott. He now has 55 points. Up along the near side, we're going to get a penalty here. 5-2 to two Hillers, Andrew Gilbert and Will Abbott striking in the third period. And it is going to be a one-man advantage for Dartmouth. Steve Simo's going to take a seat with the slash. Well, Dartmouth must score here on this power play if they want any hope. DJ Sloan up against Austin Noble. Oh, up in the high slot, turned away by O'Leary off the Nicolosi shot. Well, the Hillers showing off the speed and showing off their cardio abilities here in this third period. They just do not get tired. And Dartmouth certainly looking a little bit tired out there as they have tried to keep up with this Hillers team. Over into the slot, turned away. Good defensive play by Gilbert, sacrificing his body. Abbott flips it up, crosses into Bourne territory. That'll burn some time off the clock. And slowing on the chase down into the near side corner. Up in the <laughs> offensive end, going up Took against Cote. And Sloan just trying to pretty much keep possession of the puck to take some time off the clock. And we have a whistle. Clock's still going. 107 <laughs> left on the power play, 739 left in the third period. I think they can add like three seconds to it. The clock step kept running. Dartmouth still with the one-man advantage. We'll see if the official's at any time. So far, no signal. They felt three seconds isn't uh, critical at this point. 
Oh, yeah, they oh, go. they're going to add it. Yep. Yeah, they got it. Oh, every second's critical yeah, in the playoffs. They five. Oh, they put five seconds back on. Well, they put five seconds on the t on the uh, penalty, but they didn't put five seconds back on the clock. They put six seconds on the clock. Okay, but we'll Mike, take it. it. It's unbelievable the stamina this Hillers team has. They just seem to never get they, tired. They, I mean, the speed, and they're always going full steam. Right. They never take their foot off the gas well, pedal. You, you see the gas is, uh, I like to say the wind is out of the sails on the Statman team. They, they did not come out this period playing strong. That second period was very intense hockey by both teams, and Dartmouth just did not bring it to the third where they needed the most. Well, Larry able to turn that one away. Walsh on the chase down as Gamash will set it up. Owen Delaney in the area code trying to steal it away. That's back to Walsh. He's going to take a shot here, I think. Nope, leaves it behind for Saporoshitz. Burning that time off the power play. Doesn't even feel like the Hillers are going against the power play right now with the way they're controlling right. the puck. Yeah, that's a great point. I almost forgot about it for a second. Handled along the near side by Nicolosi. Very impressive performance against the great Dartmouth team by the Hillers, and they are showing more and more that they are absolutely the real deal. Turned away by Saporoshitz. Wow, solid D. Excellent defense there. Way to burn that time off the power play. Dartmouth trying to attack. The power play has expired. Six and a half left to go in regulation. Things looking really good right now for Hopkinton. Lindquist around the net. Flips it up towards the neutral zone. Owen Delaney got a stick on it as well. Dartmouth with a shot opportunity here. Turned away by O'Leary. That shot was by Casera. And now up the near side boards goes Lindquist. Over to Gilbert along the far side. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert on a charge, leaves it behind. Simos with the power shot. And Gamash able to turn that away. Simos along the far side board, stolen away. Gilbert is out in front of the action as well as Lindquist. The defenseman hanging back. Lindquist, nice stick work there. Stolen away though by Larabi. All kinds of hillers just surrounding the slot, not letting Dartmouth even get a shot off. Just so much speed for Hopkinton. And here comes Simos. Simos was trying to charge through there. Temple with a nice hit. Dartmouth here on the charge. Saporoshitz on defense. Left out in front. No one there for Dartmouth. Handled by Simos. Simos putting that towards Abbott. Now on the high slot. That one turned away by O'Leary. Up along the near side corner. Temple takes a check into the wall. Abbott racing up. Abbott looking for his second goal of the game. Handled in the slot by Peyton Allen. Now coming up behind Allen is Tucker Rose. Here comes Dartmouth. Connor Delaney puts that up towards Simos. Simos trying to break through a couple of Dartmouth players there. Puts it off around the near side boards. Burn that time off the clock at this point. Up by three goals. Less than five minutes left in the third period. And if the Hillers hang on, they will advance to take on the winner of Rockland and Greater New Bedford. Pass over to the far side. O'Leary is going to wrap that one up, give the Hillers a little breather. 4.37 left to go in the third period. Great defense tonight from Hopkinton. I tell you, they look very, very good, and I can't wait to see the next game. They look like they could play another three periods. <laughs> Hey, let's not push it. We still have to drive back. <laughs> I'm not saying I want him to. Oh, okay. Thanks. Owen Delaney up against Austin Noble. Over to the blue line. Sylvia. At least not today. Of course, I want him to yeah, play a lot course. more periods. Yes. Just not today. Hamlet flips that one off the boards. Nice hit by Owen Delaney there, that but well. that'll draw a whistle. Do we have a penalty? If we do, I believe it will be on Dartmouth. Let's see it. Couple sticks fly up in the air from the corner of my eye. And nope, it well, is just going to be offside, Tillers. Face off in Dartmouth territory, or offside's Dartmouth rather. Over, up along the far side, over towards Saporoshitz. On Delaney staying out in front of it now, over to the near side. Cote flying up. Cote looking up. Jam it in, but O'Leary able to poke it out. Some good goaltending work there. Sean Walsh up along the far side boards. Four minutes left to go. Five to two Hillers. Two more goals for Hopkinton in this third period. Andrew Gilbert and Will Abbott finding the net. 
Up along the near side, nowhere to go with it for Nicolosi. Gilbert is able to poke that up the far side wall. Sean Walsh with possession into the left circle, looking for the shot here, and turns around the goaltender, but unable to get it through. That's flipped up towards Lindquist. And Hiller's defensemen just seem like they're always in front of the puck. Abbott puts that one across, and the net comes dislodged. That'll draw the stoppage and a face-off. 3.26 left to go in the third period. And barring some kind of miracle for Dartmouth, it is looking like the Hillers are going to advance to the semifinals of South Division Three. Pretty impressive stuff for Hopkinton. And they were certainly tested here today, but they passed with flying colors, at least so far. On the face-off, it's going to be DJ Sloan up against Tucker Rose. Abbott trying to get the shot off, and there Sloan getting shot off, and then Abbott was trying to knock it through, but a defenseman in front of him. Left out towards Simos, Whoa. and Simos, and here we go there, it's still alive, and that's in! Simos with a beauty of a shot, right. and it was poked in, I believe. No, they no it they're calling it off. It looks like... The uh, light, the, the post lit. Yeah, it, it lit, it looked like it was in, but I believe there was goaltender interference maybe. It was something, but it's, it, yeah. All right, so we will have a face off. No goal. Second time they've tricked us today. Up around to the near side. Near goal though, Simos was right there. But that net came dislodged and that was the call. Simos with another opportunity, leaves it for Sloan. Sloan puts that one in, yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah. 2.56 left to go. DJ Sloan off a beauty of an assist from Steve Simos. The Hillers pouring it on. For DJ Sloan, that was his 15th goal of the season, 38th point. And for Steven Simos, his 18th assist, 29th point of the season. Jammed up along the far side corner. Griffin Zach trying to poke that one out. There's Temple. You know, now I'm afraid you're going to see all these uh, late hits and Frustration uh, Temple shots. with an air goal there, turned away by Lamash. Well, I got to say, both of these teams, they've showed some sportsmanship out there. It's been a relatively uh, non-dirty game, I would right. say. Relatively clean game. Back to the blue line, oh. Saparoshic with an air goal there. And then we have a player tripped up for the Hillers. And it was Rodgers who went down. Took a hit from a defenseman. I don't know if we have a penalty here, we might. Yeah, I think they're calling oh. offsides. Uh, offsides the, the puck is just, the call, yep. The puck just went, went past the blue line. Face off in the neutral zone. 2.13 in counting, left to go. For the Hillers advance on to the semifinals. Hamblin along the near side, Owen Delaney picks it up, flips it off the boards. Dartmouth looking for a goal here. That's turned away by Walsh. Quick break Delaney, Owen Delaney flying down, shot from the left circle, and that is just a little bit wide. Up along the near side, Gilbert picks it up. Gilbert off the stick of Walsh, off the glass, out of play. 139 left to go in the third period. The Hillers adding three more goals, and they have a 6-2 lead. All the Hillers' goals tonight in the first, Sean Walsh, Owen Delaney in the second, Tommy Hamblett in the third, Andrew Gilbert, Will Abbott, and DJ Sloan. All have scored for the Hillers. Simos takes it around the net. Trying to leave that one in the slot. 
as Will Abbott will turn it around. Try to jam it in, and do we have another goal? Yeah, maybe. Let's wait for the signal. It looks like we do. It, it was, I believe, Simos who snuck it in. Snuck it in from the corner of the net. With Steven Simos getting in the score books. Why not? Icing on the cake. Simos already with an assist to his credit. Now has a goal, but of course we'll wait for the confirmation. Yep. As Steven Simos is, if it is a Steven Simos goal, which I believe it is, that's his 12th. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, Abbott. Abbott. All right, it was a Will Abbott goal, excuse me. Simos was in the area code as well. That's Will Abbott's 36th goal of the season. And it is his 56th point. Unbelievable. Will Abbott. What a player he is. Dartmouth threatening a little bit here. Under a minute left, and we're going to have a whistle. I think somebody's heading to the box. Yeah. There's O'Leary and Will Cote with some words, and this one I think is going to bring Cote to the box. Yeah, I mean, they've been hammering Cote all day. Oh, they certainly have. He's taking a lot of They shut hits. him down. I mean, they, they shut him down. Yeah. That's not going to be Cote, no. actually. It's going to be uh, Hiller. It's going to be Connor Delaney heading to the box. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, well, I just saw O'Leary and Cote kind of having some yeah, words. Yeah, and I thought the ref was shoving Cote along. All right, so Dartmouth on the power play, but a little, little too late to get back into this one. Maybe they can get a oh, goal yeah. for pride here. Good defensive work there by the Hillers. And there's a push yeah. that the official missed. A late hit by Rabi. Approaching 30 seconds left to go in the third period. Another terrific effort by the Hillers today. Man, is this team good. Oh, oh double the Far side boards. <laughs> Gilbert took a hard whack into the boards. That shot just wide to the left. Saperoshitz knocks it down. Burn that time off the clock. Approaching 10 seconds left to go. Dartmouth gonna try to work their way up ice for one last shot. Into the right circle, into the slot, turned away, that's it! The Hopkinton Hillers put up four more goals in the third, they pile it on, and they take the win over Dartmouth, seven to two. The Hopkinton Hillers advancing on to the sectional South Division Three semifinals. What a terrific effort out here tonight. The Hillers going to play the winner of tomorrow's game between Rockland and Greater New Bedford. Greater New Bedford, a familiar opponent. They had a classic playoff game last year with Greater New Bedford. So the Hillers advancing on. They will play Friday night. Of course, the schedule is subject to change, but the final score here, Hopkinson seven, Dartmouth two. Mike, any final thoughts? Yeah, let's play again. Come on. We'll do I it fit, again. I tell you, fantastic play by the Hillers, just like I see at the very first game that I filmed. Now I see the last game that I filmed. It, it's, it's just consistent, hard, fast play in hockey. They get their passes down. They're shooting a bunch. Um, I, I love this team. Well, they are... Certainly a very talented team, and they are strong throughout. And I think this could be a very, or continue to be, a very enjoyable postseason run. But we shall see. Some very tough opponents are to come for the Hopkinton Hillers. But right now, their fans saluting their team on their terrific effort out there tonight as they take the 7-2 victory over the Dartmouth Indians and move on to the sectional semifinals. For Mike Tarosian, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Hopkinton Hillers Boys High School Playoff Hockey on HCAM. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you again as the season continues on. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon.